looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today... I'm gonna go over the most overpowered players in Madden 21 now guys as you guys do know this is very different in terms of how I run this list specifically because this list is non price oriented this is just literally most dominant players in Madden right now versus the other ones where I kind of go over more of a price point who I think fits at each specific spot it's a little bit different as you guys do know but I'm super excited to go over this list it's changed quite a ton since I did it last back in September at some point changed a lot we've got a ton of good players a ton of uh, movements on the list in general but super excited to go over it guys but for today's Poodle Squad shout out. If you guys do want a chance to shout it out, all you guys gotta do is comment down below. Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on the notify bell, guys. Once you do all those things, you have a chance to be shouted out. As well as for today's shout out, we have Ronnie Barnes. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. I greatly, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that come out each and every day and like the video and show support. Thank you so much. But moving on to this, guys, if you see any players on this list that you do think are overpowered as well and you think you need on your team, and I convince you that you need them, go ahead and head on over to my reserve down below. Coins are discounted. You can get training and the players directly on there. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. Now, let's start off on the back end of this list because, of course, I have nine. I have nine on this list today. Now, again, I don't max out. I don't have a specific number every video. It's kind of like who I think still needs to be picked up regardless of your team. And this guy still falls under that now. Coming at number nine. A guy that's just so good and his price point still shows it and that's going to be jamal adams now jamal adams is phenomenal i think he's definitely coming well number 10 let's, let's push him back to number 10 because i want to add someone to number nine real quick push him back to number 10 i was gonna put these guys together but i'll separate them no no i'll keep them together i'll be like 9a and 9b it really just depends on your price and who you want jamal adams 89 speed 80 to excel 84 tackle 90 play rack 90 pursuit 87 man 90 zone and 92 hit power Powered up and chemed up, he gets says he has uh, hit power above 90, zone above 90, man above 90, pursuit above 90, play rec above 90, speed above 90. He's all around a beast. He can man people up, he can zone, he can literally can play like a cornerback. He can man blitz, he can do anything. His card's super overpowered, and of course, you can use your power passing him, so if you do need to go ahead and do that, make sure you are getting that done. I really do love this Jamal Adams card. I think he's great. I think he's an awesome, awesome safety. For 9B, guys, is Taylor Mays. Now, Taylor Mays is the cheaper option, of course, but the power pass is not there for that specifically which is why jamal adams is a little bit a little bit better in terms of that but in terms of stats same same thing almost the only difference the, the issue here is, is that jamal adams is a better man and taylor mays doesn't have that but taylor mays does have height and taylor mays is going to be a little bit faster now that's why i'm putting them together because i don't think that Mays is particularly better i think if anything He's about the same. It's a little bit more speed, a little bit more tackle per se, and then a little bit less, and then a lot less man. Comes down to what you prefer there, but that's gonna be 9A and 9B. Now start it. Now let's go to number eight. Now number eight, guys, was just recently dropped, and this card is an absolute goon. Like when I say this card is insane, Darren Waller is a must-have on any team that's competitive in weekly league right now. I can't afford him right now, but this card is insane. 87 speed, 67 strength. 92 catch, 88 catch in traffic, 89 spec catch, 92 short route running, and 89 medium route running. Now, the beauty of this car is powered up. He gets a short and medium route running threshold, spec threshold, catching threshold, and 88 speed. So, he's going to be even pretty fast for receiver standards. Going to be the fastest tight end, the best route running tight end, and the best catching tight end, and he's 6'6". Six six. He's such a mismatch on linebackers and in places where tight ends are going to be, guys. Darren Waller is insane. You guys need to pick him up. I know he's expensive. But he's most certainly, certain like for real, he's worth it. Now coming on to the next guy here. Now this guy is gonna be on the list probably all year, unless like he really gets faded out at some point, which I doubt it never really has happened before. But that's gonna be Lawrence Taylor. Now Lawrence Taylor's still a great price too as well, 200k. Although it doesn't matter on here, but Lawrence Taylor, you gotta have him. You gotta have him. You gotta power him up as well. Uh, powered up and chemed up, he will have 88 speed, 91 excel, 87 strength, 86 tackle. He will have like an 89 play rack if you put lockdown on him. He'll have 88, uh, 87 block shed, 90 power move, and 88 finesse. If you do use uh, pass rush stuff on him, you'll get other stuff up. But typically right now, it's too hard to juggle two chems on the same team right now at maximum capacity. But I think Lawrence Taylor is great. I think he's really, really good. Of course, and he just plays glitchy. Like, despite his stats, you know, like a Lawrence Taylor card just always plays a little bit different, which is kind of what we're used to in terms of that. Now, moving on from there. Let's go on over here now. Again, these cards are going to be the powered up versions already, but again, it doesn't really matter because you can just get the regular ones. It comes down to what you prefer. That's going to be Steve Smith Sr. Steve Smith Sr., 348K is not a bad price, of course, or you can get this one. I'm going to show you this one because this is technically powered up already, so I can show you guys stats in full. It's 91 speed, 92 jumping, 
91 catching, 92 catching traffic, 90 spec, 90 with short route, an 89 medium route, and 90 medium route running. Now the thing with him though is I think you want to put like play fake on him so you can get the medium route running up because of course that's the only thing he's missing on this card. If you do get that on him guys, he'll be a complete threshold receiver, one of the fastest guys in the game, one of the well the best route runner combined. He can run deep routes, he can run medium routes and short and catch and fast. He can do everything and he even has a good stiff arm. And if you after the catch, like a 92 stiff arm and 90 change direction, kind of insane for a receiver. 90 juke move, he's gonna be great. He's gonna be really, really good. I really like this decent senior card. Now, his counterpart that came out with him is amazing as well. And honestly, I think he's better than Lawrence Taylor. The only issue is going to be that I think Lawrence Taylor is a more long-term card. But he Ricky Jackson is insane. Guys, you definitely need a Ricky Jackson if you haven't already. We want to line them both up because you can have him and Lawrence Taylor on the same side of the field. 7 speed, 90 excel, 86 strength, 91 tackle, 90 play rec, 91 block shot, 92 power move, and 80 finesse. So clearly he's much better than Lawrence Taylor in terms of he gets the block to the threshold and the power move threshold and everything without even being chemmed up. Now, the only issue that I was having with Lawrence Taylor was his block shed, but of course, his next card's insane. But Ricky Jackson's not like he's slow. Like if he was like 80 speed or 79 speed and he had these stats, I'd be like, okay, well, Lawrence still has speed. He has Lawrence Taylor esque athleticism with better tackle, better play rec, better block shed, better power move, better finesse move. You can't go wrong. You want to line them both up. Same side of the field, one at end. Maybe just put them both on outside linebackers on both sides. Big nickel sub minute ends on each side, guys. There's so much uses for these guys. Highly recommend you take advantage. Now, number four, we got Deion Sanders. Now, Deion Sanders, still still pretty high price point, but definitely worth it. Guys, Kevin, he's 93 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility, 90 jumping. Super athletic. 90, uh, 90 play rack, 92 man, 91 zone, 82 press. Now, if you do get lockdown maxed out on him, you can get his man, it's like a 97. You can get his zone, it's like a 96, 95, uh, five, depending on how hard you, how you get it. And that play rack as well. He's going to be one of the most well-rounded athletic corners in the game the only issue is going to be his press which is where you kind of struggle if you do run a man press scheme that's about it next we got drc who has overtaken Deion De sanders on my list for specific reasons 92 speed 91 excel 90 agility 91 jumping 88 player uh, play rack 91 man 89 zone and 91 press now i'm gonna compare him real quick to my Deion so you guys can see why i did overtake him on the list Deion's still a bit fast remember drc still has a potential to be powered up uh versus my Deion. so remember we compared these with this Deion. so Powered up DRC has the same exact speed, one less excel, two less agility. He has two better jumping, two less play rec, one less, oh, sorry, one less play rec, same man, one less zone, 10 better press. So here's the thing, zone wise, they're both gonna be 90 threshold guys, so they're the same. Man coverage, 90 threshold guys, play rec, 90 threshold guys, speed minus, no, speed the same. The only difference here is that DRC is two inches taller, and he's going to have, and he's going to be able to man press people and bench press people, which is something Dion really can't do as well. So that's going to be a big difference, which is why I think DRC is more the meta fit for this specific time. But still, go, still both are great regardless of the card. I recommend both. Next, we got quarterback, Michael Vick. You got to have Vick on your team. Go to the LTD one. He's super cheap, 377k for Vick right now. It's just absolutely absurd. I don't know why his price is so low. 91, 91 speed, 93 throw power, 87 throw short, 83 medium accuracy, 89 deep accuracy, 86 throw under pressure, 92 throw under run, and 90 play action. Chemmed up everything, he's going to have the deep route, deep threshold, just nothing else. So he's going to be super fast, super strong, and super accurate down the field. But that's pretty much it. His medium and short is going to still be a struggle. Short doesn't matter as much. Medium will always matter to me, and medium is going to be the only struggle on a big card. But again, we expect that most, most scrambling quarterbacks can't really throw mid that well anyways. But I think Vic's super great. I really like this Vic card. Of course, that new Randy, uh, new Randall, Randall Cunningham's coming out, I believe, and that card's gonna be great as well. But Michael Vick still gonna take the cake for the time being. But that's about it for that. Let's get into the final player on this list. Now, this player has held this throne pretty much all year, and I think it's we're getting near. He's gonna be dethroned very, very soon because we're getting near his overall. Barry Sanders, 849k, still holds the cake and the throne as the number one running back in the game. Not the fastest, that's how that would be bow powered up, but that excel and agility and change of direction break tackle are different. And size, being 5'8", with that level of agility change of direction, you're like so untackleable or unable to be tackled versus being like Bo Jackson, like 6'3", and like two, two, 250, whatever he is, he's too massive. I get tackled too easily. But that's about it for that, guys. That wraps up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you, do, if you guys need coins to pick one of these players and you feel like you gotta get some of them now, Head over to my reserve, take advantage of the discounted coins. Make sure you use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. And that's about it, guys, for the Poodle Squad. Shout out again. Shout out to Ronnie Barnes. If you guys have a chance to be shouted out, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, be subscribed. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.